My name is Sarah Mai, and I have a vegan food and travel blog called Eat Pure at eatpure.blogspot.com. I document all of my travels and the vegan eats that I encounter. It's my goal to show everyone that amazing vegan food is available in every part of the world, in vegan restaurants and non-vegan restaurants. And in honor of World Vegan Day, today I'm going to be making two of my favorite fall recipes vegan pumpkin chocolate chip muffins, and a strawberry, blueberry, and banana smoothie. So let's get started. Welcome to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. Today I'm going to be making vegan pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. This recipe is courtesy of my dad, who is also vegan, followed by a strawberry, blueberry, and banana smoothie. First, you'll want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So to start, you'll need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I like to use organic unbleached flour. One cup of sugar. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One and a half teaspoons of baking soda. One tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. And one teaspoon of salt. Now you want to mix all of these together, and when you're finished, you can set aside. For the wet ingredients, we'll start with one 15 ounce can of pureed pumpkin, and add one and a half cups of non-dairy milk. You can use soy milk, almond milk, coconut milk, whatever you'd like. I like to use unsweetened almond milk, this way I can control the amount of sugar. Then, two thirds cup of vegetable oil. and one teaspoon of vanilla. Mix this all together until it's well incorporated. Now for these muffins you can use almost anything you like. Cherries, coconut, peaches, raspberries, whatever's in season. I chose pumpkin because it's fall here in Chicago and I love all things pumpkin. Make sure your wet ingredients are well mixed together. So now we're going to make a well in the dry ingredients and add in our wet ingredients. And at this point, we can add in the chocolate chips. Make sure you get all of it. In baking, it's very important that everything is accurate. So now we're just gonna fold these into each other until it's well combined. And make sure you get everything, scrape all of the flour off of the sides and the bottom. It's really important. So now we're ready to put these into our muffin cups. I like to use an ice cream scoop. It makes things a lot less messy. And you'll want to fill them up about three quarters of the way which is slightly more than one full scoop. And before I bake these, I'm going to make a brown sugar flaxseed streusel to go on top. For the dry ingredients, you'll need one cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of ground flaxseed. Flaxseed is great, especially for vegans, because it contains omega-3 fatty acids. So once this is mixed together, we're going to add in our butter. And you'll need half a cup of cold vegan butter cut into small cubes. I like to use my hands to mix everything, but you can easily use a pastry blender if you'd like. And you really wanna take your time and make sure everything is really well incorporated. You want it to be almost the consistency of dough. Take some extra time, but it'll be worth it. Okay. So now we're just gonna crumble this mixture over our muffins.
Now that the muffins are ready, we'll bake them at 350 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. So now we'll put our muffins into our preheated oven. for 20 to 30 minutes. So now our muffins are ready. So here are our finished muffins. And next we'll make our smoothie to serve for World Vegan Day. So now we'll make our strawberry, blueberry, and banana smoothie. You'll need two bananas, two cups of fresh strawberries, one cup of frozen blueberries, two tablespoons of agave nectar, and two cups of ice. And I'm gonna blend this on high until everything is really well mixed together. So now that everything is mixed together, we'll pour into our cups. And this recipe will make two servings. But you can adjust to however many you would like. And to garnish the smoothie, I like to use strawberries, but you can use anything you'd like. Some oranges or some mint would be nice as well. Put a small slice in the strawberry so they fit the glass just perfectly. And they're ready to be served. So in honor of World Vegan Day, I'm here with my friend Tom and I've made strawberry, blueberry, and banana smoothies. Mm. If you'd like to try. Sure. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Very good. Great, and also pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. Also, of course, vegan. Wow. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> Great. Okay. So everything I made here today is without any animal products. So no butter, no eggs, no milk, nothing. Wow, so it's good and good for you. Thank you for watching today's Vegetarianism, The Noble Way of Living. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciples here on Supreme Master Television. Happy World Vegan Day. Follow Sarah Mai's vegan adventures at eatpure.blogspot.com.
For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash veg.